Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today I'm going to share with you a therapeutic art activity for physical pain. So if you've been experiencing any type of physical pain or aches in your body and you just want a way to release that and express that, not through words but through the art process, then continue watching the video. I'm going to share with you a really simple art activity that you can do to help you on your journey of healing. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. I'm back every week with therapeutic art activities for you. Last week I went and got a massage and when I was getting the massage I did not realize how much pain and stress and tension I was holding on into my shoulders and my neck until the masseuse started to work at it. It was super painful and I realized that I probably have this pain happening all the time but I just kind of ignore it and just accept it. I'm on the computer a lot and I also paint a lot and so my arms and my shoulders, that's where I carry all of the stress. A few days later, after the massage, I woke up in the middle of the night with a pounding headache. It was so terrible that I didn't even have the words to describe what I was feeling. I couldn't even concentrate on anything but the actual pain. And I knew in that moment that my body this week is trying to tell me something. It's trying to give me a message on how I should take care of myself. These physical sensations that I'm feeling in my body is a message for me. And I know that I have to develop a relationship to it and try to explore and identify what is really happening. As I said, in the moment when I was getting a headache, I did not even have words to express what I was feeling. And that's why using art as a way to express our physical pain is so powerful. Because a lot of the times when we're feeling that really, really deep, deep pain, it's hard to describe through words. It's such a physical sensation that I don't even have the vocabulary to describe the type of pain it is. And so using art, using the creative process, using color and form and line and shape to express that is really powerful because it's giving a voice to our pain, another voice that we don't usually use. And so I created this therapeutic art exercise as a way to explore our pain, to express our pain, and most importantly, to start a conversation with it and to see where it's coming from because underneath all of that physical pain there is some sort of emotional attachment to it and so this exercise is going to help you explore that you're going to need a piece of paper any sort of drawing materials that you have on hand like pencil crayons felt markers pastels crayons watercolor and acrylic paint and lastly, a pen and a journal. Set up a quiet and safe space for your art making. Take this moment for yourself and your healing. Take a deep breath in and out. Place your hands on the paper and say out loud or silently in your heart, I am at peace with my pain. I am listening and learning from my pain. I welcome my pain and invite it in. I am working with my pain to find new ways of healing. Tune into the body and ask, what is hurting? Visualize your physical pain, reflect on your drawing and start a conversation. Close your eyes and begin to settle into your body and breath. Take a deep breath in and out. Start to tune into your body and see where you may be holding tension. Maybe it feels tight, sore, or maybe it's throbbing with sensation. Let yourself feel that pain and start to visualize what it may look like. What color is it? What size is it? What shape is it? Is it heavy or light? 
When you get a good sense of what it looks like, start to draw it out on paper and let it pour out of you. Pay attention to how fast you may be moving your marker and how hard you may be pressing. Have the image and process match the severity of your pain. When you're finished, take some time to reflect on the image. Take out your journal and begin to start a conversation. What is your pain saying to you? Take the energy of the image and see if you can translate it to what it's really trying to tell you. Maybe it's telling you to slow down or relax. Maybe it's telling you how it really feels. Let your hand write down whatever comes out. Now respond back to the pain. What can you say back? Release all your frustrations and anger and let your pain know how much it is hurting you. Confront it and see if you and your pain can come to a peaceful resolution. Let this exercise be a way to let it all out. Let it be healing and let it be a way to release your pain just for a moment. So this is what I end up drawing and I realized that it was really easy for me just to find the colors and lines and shapes of what I've been feeling the past week. It just came out so effortlessly and so easily that I didn't even have to think about what I was doing because it's so it just felt so easy for me to express that. This right here, that represents my headache. It really felt like it was like a big black band around my head and it was just holding in all the tension and it felt like it was going to burst and it was pulsating and so that's what these lines kind of mean this and this right here that represents my shoulders and it kind of represents the layers and layers of tension it almost feels like rocks and so i drew it in kind of a rock formation like and it kind of permeates you know like down my shoulders in the, my neck and down the middle of my back when i look at this it definitely does not feel comfortable because I can actually feel the sensation when I look at this picture in my body even though I'm not experiencing any pain now when I look at it I can definitely feel it the part where I started to journal to my pain and ask my pain what it's trying to say to me was actually really really powerful and basically what my pain was telling me is telling me to relax and it says I am here because you are overthinking. You are worrying too much about things in life that you cannot control. Release your worries, it's going to be okay. You're doing the best that you can. And it just gave me this whole download of messages that my body was trying to tell me. And it just felt really good to start a relationship to that pain instead of trying to push it away, instead of trying to not look at it and not examine it because it is painful in the end, right? And so getting these messages just felt really, really good. And when I wrote back to the pain, I wrote that I'm trying my best. I get mad at you for weighing me down in life, but I understand that you are here for a reason and that I have to listen to you. It just felt really good just to lay it all out and write down all the feelings that have been associated with, you know, years of stuff that's been stuck in my body. You can do this exercise over and over again and maybe even go deeper and have deeper conversations with your pain and see if anything else comes up for you. So if you are experiencing any physical pain, chronic pain, whatever it is, I'm really sorry that you're going through that. I know it's it's really hard to live with, but there are ways where we can try to refocus our energy into building a better relationship to it and finding a way to release it. So if you do decide to try this, I would love to hear about your process and see what you drew. So if you want to share with me, you can always tag me on Instagram or send me email about it. And if you are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me, I do offer online therapeutic art sessions where it's an opportunity for you to really dive deep into your creativity, dive deep into yourself and discover parts of you that you may not even know of through the creative process. I'm here 
to hold space for you and space for you to do that. So if you are interested, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. You can always send me email or book a 30 minute free discovery call with me to see if we're the right fit. In the meantime, I'm sending you all love and creativity and I'll see you next week. Thank you.